Hey guys, it's me, it's KC, and welcome back to the Southern Fried Griffins mini updates and family gather quest for stuff. It's Sam! You guys remember Sam, right? Sam was in that really classic episode where they go to the South, Chris Griffin falls in love with them, and then, well, things happen at the end. But this character is actually obtainable in this short update for one week only. The first character, though, that we had to obtain the costume anyway. Redneck Peter, I already got that in the previous video, so this video will definitely be, of course, on good old Sam. This is the streak. You've got to get the streak, you got to build up the streak, you will get the overalls, you need 30 of the overalls in order to unlock this character. And guess what? I am done. I've got them all. 30 of 30. Also, if you do finish all of the streaks up to five times, it is exactly 30 of the overalls. Let's wait no more time. Let's unlock Sam. And let's count down. Three, two, and one. Oh, she's throwing a rock. Where I'm from, Chris is a catch. I'm sure everybody's done that in the past, right? Whip the rocks along the, the water to see how many times I can skip. Hey Chris, is there somewhere romantic in the city you and me can go together? You bet! Have you ever been to the Waffle House? Gee golly, there's a house made of waffles here? No, but the fact that you would find that romantic bodes well for a future together. I thought that actually said White House. I ain't no Southern Belle. Oh, she's got a voice. It's awesome. What's it like living in a rural Southern town like Bumblescum? Ah, shucks. I don't know. I guess it's the same as in the other town. We put our pants on one leg at a time because the other leg is full of possums like everyone else. Have Sam get a movie makeover, Bonnie dressed like a Southern Belle. We get a chance to see your quest. So get a movie makeover, which is animated, go poking around, which is also animated, adjust her overalls, learn to read, wrestle a pig, serve down home cooking, and that's pretty much it. But where's his voice? There was a voice, but maybe it'll pop up when we do this quest. Get a movie makeover. Let's do it. I ain't no southern bitch. So the hair goes up, and they don't like it. Oh, and they like the hair, I guess, down. Because it looks better, maybe? I don't know. It said movie makeover. I thought there was going to be, like, makeup and everything involved, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, why can't you just look like the dog, the lowest dog? That movie makeup, right? You know what would be really awesome? If we could get a, a raccoon NPC like this to walk around. Because if you can't get a character, the next best thing is NPCs. To walk around, so that's unfortunate we can't get a raccoon. Ah, I know what I can show everybody. I can show you the moose. Desperate moose. And I have enough of the the trash bags already. But before we do, is there anything else I can put down as well? I mean, I, I really looked at the stuff in the previous video, but I just want to recheck. Griffin Lawn Couch and Rocky Mountain Oyster Bar. Hmm, okay, and that seems to be it, so I may be able to put down everything, actually. But most importantly, Desperate Moose. I'm so excited about this. Probably because I remember when I first watched the episode, I thought the sound was absolutely hilarious. And it's still hilarious. We'll do moose stuff for money. Okie dokie, artichokey. There we go, he can, he can work the corner. Just like that. That's awesome! Now, it would be way better if it was animated, or even better if it was an NPC. But it's still awesome. I absolutely love it. Oh, what else can we put down? We can put down the Griffin Lawn Couch. Let's do that. Like so. Not too shabby. We've got a bag of chips, a hat, beer, looks like a belt, and some other things as well. 
And finally, Rocky Mountain Oyster Bar. That is incredibly cheap, which is amazing. And we'll put it in a spot where we can actually see the dang thing. Right there. Rocky Mountain Oyster Bar, there it is. That's quite an interesting sign, isn't it? What does it have to do with oysters? I'm not really sure. I don't say oyster, it's just like not even meaning what I think it's meaning. What are we getting at next? I really have absolutely no idea. We've been getting obviously a lot of major events. This was a really nice change. I've always liked mini updates more, and I've said this many times, I'll keep saying it over and over again. Many updates are better because they tend to focus on the actual show. Like in this case, we got the raccoons to walk around. We also got Sam, which is a new character. Usually in major events, they don't tend to really do that. It's like a TV show or a movie. And then they throw in Family Guy characters and costumes, but it doesn't feel like Family Guy. It feels like you're just playing a TV show or a movie or whatever it's revolving around. Stick with many updates, please. I love these so much more. And it just feels, like I said, more like Family Guy. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.